As our filming of the trial continues, I'm going to be talking from time to time with law professor Nita Farahani, who has closely followed how neuroscience may affect the law. We started by picking up on the issue of brain scans for lie detection. How useful is it to bring this kind of lie detection into the court? Well, you know, it's interesting. If you compare it to traditional lie detection technology, the polygraph, we have excluded polygraph testimony for a long time from the criminal courtroom because it's so unreliable. Mm. And the question is, does this do something better? Does looking at the brain instead of the indirect measures of things like sweat and heart palpitations, is that better than the existing polygraph method? And the answer is probably not. Every time we introduce new science into the courtroom, there's an overconfidence by jurors in the science as if that's the objective truth, yeah. right? That science has found the objective answer and that they don't have to do the hard work of trying to figure out if the person's telling the truth or a lie because the science tells us that. And it doesn't. It's one more subjective piece of information that informs our decision making. And so a lot of neuroscientists are worried about over-reliance by jurors and you know, over-influence to jurors in the use of this kind of evidence. So if scientists, if the preponderance of scientists are worried about introducing these, at the moment, introducing these techniques into the courtroom. Right. Are they closer to getting accepted than they ought to be? Or is, is there still a pretty good barrier about it now? Well, so there have been several cases so far where judges have actually heard fMRI evidence. Mm. And in each of the cases, the judges have been incredibly careful in the opinions that they've written to explain why they don't think that this evidence, fMRI lie detection, reaches a level of reliability and general acceptance in the scientific community that would enable it to be permitted into a criminal case. Nevertheless, as the evidence improves, as the techniques improve, um, there's no reason to think that it won't one day end up in the criminal courtroom.